Okay, so today we're gonna be doing a review on the tire chain. So what I got, I got a tire chain from Walmart. It was like hundred bucks. So it's a peerless design. You can pick this up at the store. As I said, comes with the instructions and comes with a little warning on, label on it. So we'll just go ahead and get started on it. And so it comes with two chains. Also comes in with two of the tighteners on it. So today let's just do a demonstration on how it goes on there. It's pretty simple actually. So I did make a modification to my chain. It came on one of those weird design hooks where you have to wrap it around the chain. So I just cut that out and I got one of these hooks from the Home Depot. And what it does is locks it together. It's locked tighter and makes a good tension on it and you don't have to keep tightening the chain all the time. So, flip the chain over, so a couple of things to remember. There's two kinds of screws. There's a flat side and there's a hook side. So you want to keep the hook side outside all the time away from the tire. And there's two hooks that goes wraps around the tire. The gold one always goes on the inside of it. And the other one that I made goes outside of it. It's an easier way to put the chain on there. So it's really simple. All I'm looking for this wraps on the outside of the tire so it doesn't cut into it. I'm just gonna go in here. All you have to do is just slide it onto the tire. Probably easier going backwards. It shouldn't go backwards until the back portion of the chain comes in the front in the tire sitting on top of the chain. So we'll just do this and back the truck and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so got this thing, I rolled it back. Reverse the truck, the chain went on the wheels. Here's the bottom piece of it. Pick this up, and there's a chain in the back. So all I'm doing is really hooking it up. So take this piece, just hook it up there. Always keep in mind, try to face this thing out as much as possible so it doesn't hurt the tire. And pull the other side of the chain, just come in to the hook, and then hook this side of the chain, tighten the strap. Once I put the tightener on it, it's gonna be hard to adjust the chain. So make sure the chain is evenly distributed. That way you won't have to make another pit stop on the road to try to adjust this thing. So we're gonna get a tightener. There's a tensioner on it. So the clip comes with a thin side and a thick side. Thick one goes to the rubber piece, thin one goes to the chain. And same thing as before, you want to face these things towards the tire, otherwise they'll cut into the tire. Always face it out so it doesn't injure, you know, hurt the tire. So, depending on how many loops you have, you're going to have to do your own calculations, see where it hooks up. Mine is about skip every one, and go to the next one, and it clips on. So just clip this on, move on to the next one. And same process, just gonna clip this on. See, I got it backward. Gonna make sure you do get it the right way. So that's the second clip. And then I'm gonna go third clip. As I keep going, it's gonna start tightening on you. So you're just gonna have to start pulling it. Otherwise, it kind of defeats the purpose of the chain itself. So you take another one, go all the way here. Grip it in here. Here's our last one pull here I'm gonna press on the rubber piece and just grab the chain put the tensor in place kind of see the you know stop sign thing going on here and make sure the chain is on there tight and as you start driving forward it'll tighten itself up because this is the per that's the purpose of the strap here it basically pulls the chain tighter as you go along and that's how you put the chain on so now we're gonna pull the chain out 
same process going in the back order. Push up on the rubber piece, unhook from the chain, and just keep doing this until, sorry, let's go this way. It'll be easier to do on the top. Once you have all the pieces out, make sure you count your clips. There should be five of them. If you lose these, you're gonna have to buy a new strap altogether. Let's go here, unhook this. And then just take the chain out. Let's put it in the back. And the easiest thing to do is wherever this hook is, back side is hooked at the same exact spot so that's there it is go back and throw it on the ground drive over it pick it up that's how you do the tire chain on and off so good luck in the snow